Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Tuesday in Red Dead Online. This week's update lasts from August 30th through September 5th, and with it comes some free items and rewards. This is the fifth and final week of the event, and today on the show, we will be talking about the rewards that you can get for this final week, as well as I will also be giving one final reminder of all the bonuses and discounts so you can take advantage and you don't miss out on them before the August event wraps up here in-game. But with all that said, let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So, in case you haven't heard, this month, although it is wrapping up, it is completely focused on collectors out there. And so, before we mention anything in regards to the collector role, I do want to mention the collector god map, which is the most important tool for this role, and it isn't even a part of the game. It's online, I'll leave the link to it down in the description below, but this map shows you the location of every single collectible updated in real time every single day. Like I said, I'll leave the link to that down in the description below, because you're going to want to reference that as we move forward with this video, if you're interested in the the collector role and you're looking to take advantage of the bonuses. Now with this month's update, Rockstar is switching up with how they do things with the free rewards and how they're handed out. Usually we get free rewards for completing certain prerequisites here in game, but now Rockstar split them into two separate categories. So just as a baseline, something you're going to want to know here is the weekly free rewards. You can get these for assembling and returning the weekly collections to Madame Nazar. And last week from August 23rd through the 29th, if you turn in that weekly collection, you would have unlocked the Eberhardt coat for this week. And for this week, the last week of the August event, the 30th through September 5th, you'll unlock the Get Over Here emote by turning in one of those weekly collections. And if you are looking for specific locations of this week's weekly collection, again, make sure to check out that collector map linked in the description below to help you out so you can collect those items. But we also have some more free items and rewards to talk about. Collectors who log in to play Red Dead Online this week are going to receive the Collector Coin Treasure Map. Meanwhile, if you reach a Collector Daily Roll Challenge streak of 5 days, that will yield a reward for 30% off a Novice or Promising Collector Roll item. And if you're able to reach a streak of 10 days with the Collector Roll before this event ends, because remember, you only have 7 days left, so you should be on a 3-day streak if you plan on doing this, you'll unlock one last reward for 40% off an Established or Distinguished Collector Roll item. Also, completing any Collector Free Roam event over the next week will allow you to receive the collector tarot card treasure map and then collecting a fossil this week will allow you to receive 42 rounds of buckshot incendiary shotgun ammo and if you prefer to walk on the other side of the law this week and complete a blood money opportunity you will receive eight dynamite arrows as a care package and all of these rewards and offers that i just mentioned here will be delivered within 72 hours of completion to either your camp's lockbox or a post office that's local to you now we have one more featured series game mode to go over for this event and that is hardcore pro series 3 so some of you may be looking forward to that. Moving on to the bonuses. Diligence is in its own reward for collectors this month, as returning and completing sets to Madame Nazar will pay out double the usual Red Dead Online money and XP. So we have double money and XP on collector set sales. You can also set your sights on the mining town of Ansberg this week and pick your approach and find a way to steal the Ember of the East before the flawless ruby brings Senator Ricard fame at the state's fair and outlaws will earn double the usual money, gold, and XP for their troubles with this mission. So that means we do have two times money, gold, and XP on the Ember of the East opportunity mission. Chaos is running amok on the frontier, and should you stumble upon strangers or familiarize yourself with acquaintances on your travels, all free roam missions are paying out double the usual red that online money, gold, and XP all month long, which is a great bonus here. Then we also have double XP and double money on the dockside contract, where you break up the illicit smuggling rings stemming from the docks and quays of San Denis in the dockside contract. And not only will you earn that double money and XP, but you're also going to be earning and guaranteed to find more capitality than usual when you're looting fallen enemies, or you'll find that extra capitality stash away in the chest that you go around and find while you're playing the mission. And then finally, we also have double money and XP opportunities on the Land of Opportunity store story missions where you help widow Jessica Leclerc avenge the death of her husband in those missions and those will be double money and XP. We also have the free community outfit we need to talk about here which is which is from this is juicy fruit in the r slash red dead fashion community subreddit who knocked it out of their park with their first ever post and Rockstar decided to share it. Now in this outfit you can unlock a bunch of free clothing items which include the stalker hat, the puff tie, 
the worsted coat for males, or the Hardle Autumn jacket for females, the Paisley vest, the everyday shirt for male characters, and the Iniesta shirt for females, the black suspenders, which is just optional if you want to throw it on or not, you get the agency gun belt for free, you get the satted paddle work pants or the dress shoes for male characters, and the homestead boots for females for free, and you also get all these marked for $0 in the catalog this week. And while you're stocking up on those free items, make sure to check out the Irwin coat and the Woodland gloves, because those have returned to the shelves and catalog pages as limited stock clothing for a limited time only, and they're going away after this event ends. The Irwin coat is a beautiful coat, so if you're thinking that you want to take advantage and you want to get that coat, or there probably won't be another opportunity to get that coat for a long, long time. But moving on to the discounts, we have to talk about 30% off the Navy revolver, which is the best revolver in my opinion in Red Dead. Then we also have 30% off all collector roll outfits, which are just cosmetic clothing. 30% off all Mustang horses, much better than the OG Mustang horses because at level four bonding, you get a max stamina and health ring, and they also have no level lock. So if you had the money at level one, you could technically unlock them. Then 35% off the collector saddlebag, 35% off the refined binoculars, 40% off the metal detector, 40% off the Springfield rifle, 40% off the bolt action rifle, and 50% off offensive weapons consisting of dynamite, fire bottles, hatchets, and tomahawks. And then of course, 50% off all rifle ammo in Red Dead. Now for this August event, just as a side note with the Prime Gaming rewards, because we do have those to talk about, players who connect their Rockstar Games Social Club account to Prime Gaming before this event ends on September 5th are going to receive an offer for five gold bars, an offer for five gold bars off the collector's bag, which is five gold bars off the roll in total, bringing the total cost down to 10 gold bars instead of 15, and then an outfit for their character, whereas if you're a female, you unlock the Reddington outfit, and if you're a male character, you will unlock the Zakateka outfit. So with that said, that's all we have time for today, and I think we're going to be wrapping things up right here. What do you think about the final week's free rewards and items for the August event here in Red Dead? With that being said, speaking of those Prime Gaming rewards, you don't need to actually pay for them. If you have Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime is included for free. I wouldn't even recommend you pay for them anyway, but I do stream a little bit on Twitch if you want to come check me out on there. So a little self promo there. But with all that said, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.